such a beautiful, beautiful day. And I'm wearing this really flowy top that Brie gave me. Shout out to Brie. And I'm about to meet my family at Wilderness Lodge. Okay, it has been a hot, sweaty day so far, but basically my family went to breakfast and then we went to our hotel, but our room wasn't ready. So we waited two hours and they finally just gave us a different room and kind of upgraded us. So it all ends up working out, but I'm literally sweating so much just because it's so hot outside and I'm wearing black and that's my that's my fault because I just love wearing black but like I love this outfit but anyways so we're about to take all of our stuff in and I got a car full of snacks and clothes and whatnot so let's go alrighty so I'm back in the room having a little snack and I was just swimming but it started to thunderstorm so I just decided to head back but my family is still there but hopefully they'll be fine but yeah so anyways we haven't exactly unpacked yet so it's a mess but we got the family suite we brought our coffee maker we brought snacks bathrooms over there and I'm watching Tokyo Drift First day here, we're just taking a chili pilly, you know, just hanging out. And we went to downtown Disney, aka Disney Springs, and we went to the chicken guy. There's our beloved Guy Fieri over there. This is his place. to go to Animal Kingdom and I just put a ton of, where is it? I just put a ton of sunscreen on my face and just to let you know, sunscreen for it to actually work needs zinc and titanium in it. Okay, you guys, PSA. And then after I put that on my face, I'm using my tried and true if you've seen any of my videos, you know that I use this BB cream almost every single day. And look, titanium dioxide is in it. Also to bring to the park with us, I got this baby sunscreen, sweat and water resistant for up to 80 minutes. 
paraben free zinc. Look at that. Boom. So I'm just going to take this with me to put my shoulders, my arms, and whatnot because I don't want to get sunburnt on the first day of vacation. You feel me? And also it me and baby. <laughs> you guys so before you go into any park they have advent health Woo oh yep my mom works at advent health <laughs> they have advent health checkpoints to check your temperature and make sure you're wearing a mask all that good stuff so i think it's both sides okay well whatever but yeah so i definitely feel very safe everybody's social distancing everybody's wearing masks there's hand sanitizers everywhere, and I will make a more detailed video later about the safety measures that they've taken, but yeah. You all set, thank you. We're safe, we're safe, look at that, thank you. Hand sanitizer. Boom, boom. Not today, Corona. Not today. Look how cute my family is. Thanks, Mom. As you can see, there's like barely anybody here. I was, that's my dad. I was telling my friend Kat that I feel like a movie star going to these parks because, I mean, I guess I haven't technically gone into the park yet, but all the wait times are five minutes. There's barely anybody around. Like, it's like we have VIP access. It's really fun. And also you can only go into the park if you have a Disney hotel reservation and they're not even they haven't even reopened all of their hotels so but yeah let's just say that there's barely anybody there's they disinfect anything even if you look at something they disinfect it so I feel pretty safe honestly and like I said it makes me happy that people are able to like have their jobs um, be able to work in this industry because it is the livelihood of so many people so like I said I want to do a, a full video about like the safety measures that Disney has taken but right now I already have a sweat mustache and I haven't even made it in the park so yeah hey no judging So we're actually going to be approaching the Aituri Forest, and if you guys look at bongos. Bongos! Now, these bongos are known as the ghosts of the forest. That's because they're rarely ever seen. I mean, they rarely catch them here and there. Um, they like to hide and blend in with their surroundings, kind of camouflage here and there. Um, if you guys see those horns on top of their head, they'll kind of help them navigate through the bushes and the trees as well. So, if you guys see the front legs of the Okapi, you guys would think, you know, you guys see the black and white stripes on it, you think it's a relative to the zebra, but it actually isn't. It's actually a relative that Okapis and giraffes share a physical trait known as ossicones. Now, ossicones are two little pull-like antennas on top of their head. Uh, you guys are going to see a black rhino. And actually, if I pull up a little more, you guys can see another black rhino. Two black rhinos right here, friends. So, 
Black Rhino is really heavy creature. It's actually going to weigh up to 3,000 pounds. Now, uh, rhinos are grazers. They don't really eat uh, meat. All they will eat are like some nice plants. It takes to eat. Um, they actually have no natural predator. The only threat to them is actually humans because they're fucking hanging about just chilling. Now, uh, Great Acoudis. Uh, we're gonna know that's a lady because the males actually have the horns on top of their head. Now today's kind of a hot day, it's kind of warm, so all I said was like to stay submerged underwater, keep that body temperature nice okay. and low. Uh, but we'll move up ahead and see if we can actually find a couple more, uh, more not hippos. Uh, yeah, look, I was right, friends are right here to the left hand side. A couple of not hippos right here hanging on the bottom. I'll actually stop right here for you if you guys want to get a nice photo. Now these not hippos are really heavy. Um, next to my mother-in-law, they're about 5,500 pounds, uh, but who's counting? So kind of sink and just try to jog along the bottom. Uh, they'll come up for air about every eight minutes and then just head right back down. Now these birds right here, I'm going very slowly for you, friends. That's fine, get a nice view. wild dogs are actually known as African painted dogs as well because if you guys look at their spots on their fur like somebody just painted all over them got a little paintbrush and just a little more and actually stop if you guys want to get a nice photo let's so head over here to the left <laughs> so let's try to take stop that good job and so we'll continue with the block there's another one up ahead. We'll pull up a little one. And uh, you guys would think those horns are heavy, right? But they're not. They're actually very, very light. Um, inside those uh, horns are actually a honeycomb-like structure. Um, that actually circulates their blood and keeps them cool. So today's a hot day, you know, their blood's gonna circulate. Just uh, keep, keep them nice and cool. Now, friends, right here to the right hand side is gonna be a nice Maasai giraffe. We'll move very slowly. You know how we're talking about the Okapi and the Ossicones? Well, look at the top of the tech. You see the two little horn like antennas? Those are called Ossicones, both the Okapis. And the giraffes will actually share that physical trait. Not prehensile, like I said, it just means they control it however they want. It'll kind of loop around the branches, pull down, get those nice tasty leaves. Now, the first thing that the giraffes encounter when they're born is actually mandrills. And to the right, you'll see some different <gasps> elephants. Let me tell you a little bit about the mandrills before we move on. So mandrills are actually the largest monkeys of their species. Uh, recently, uh, the mandrills just had a baby. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's probably hiding on the back. Um, yeah, mandrills just had a baby. Um, they're actually the largest monkeys of their species. And if you look at their nostrils, they're like red and blue, right? Well, the more excited they are, the more bright those colors. You guys see a little baby flaming goes in the middle. Oh, so adorable. They're the cutest thing ever. Now, the reason they're gray and they're not pink yet, like the adults, because they haven't ate enough shrimp. Uh, which shrimp contains beta carotene, which will give them that pink color in their feathers. These, these are going to weigh about 5,000 pounds. Um, there he is. I'll stop right here for you, friends. Let's get a nice view. They're all
Alrighty, so we just rode Flights of Passage and I waited like three and a half hours one time for that ride. And today we just walked on in about five to 10 minutes. So that was great. Love that for us. Uh, it just feels so weird. It's like we're in a, some type of dystopian movie. I know. We so found an old closed pizza shop. We're hanging out. Be safe. So around the parks, they have different relaxation stations with air conditioning and tables. And you can take off your mask, eat or drink, whatever you want to do. Just give you some time to breathe and apply your sunscreen. Yeah. So the way that the food works here is there's no waiting in line. You basically just go on the Disney app and order what food you want and you pick what time you want to pick it up and then boom, you just go there, pick up the food. And I got an Impossible Burger. So I got an Impossible Burger with lettuce, pepper jack, all that good stuff. Just eating some lunch. Yes. Impossible Burger for the win. All right, we're going to ride dinosaur one of my favorite rides and it's so funny because when we came here as kids oh well, well they're over here but Brianna was terrified of dinosaurs and we tried to take her on the ride because she was like oh I want to ride I want to ride and as soon as we went inside the building she just started screaming bloody murder so yeah that was a fun time just screaming and now we always bring it up because she loves dinosaurs now and loves these guys. go back to our hotel because it is just so hot the amount of water that we've been drinking is not even doing anything to cool us off so we're gonna go to the pool at the hotel because we just hot we hot like that we need some we need some pool in our life we need the pool but yeah we um we rode dinosaur twice expedition everest we had really fun time looking through the gift shops and I got a couple things so I will show you when we get back to the room so this is my fit Rick and Morty Hawaiian shirt Victoria's Secret biker shorts these dope sunglasses baby Yoda mask and yeah, a golden Okay, why are you exposing me right now? I've seen parts of it, but I'm gonna watch it from the beginning. Okay, <laughs> exposing me. Oh my gosh, how much are you cleaning that it, thing? It touched this and the counter oh, and the mouth part. No. Do it again. I'm a very, I'm becoming like a monk. I'm a big germ person. Yeah. So we rescued her mug from outside on the pool deck. Yes, because it was lightning, so they closed it, but she left it out there, and then we found it again, thanks to the help of some lifeguards, and now she's triple, quadruple. She's cleaning it. So it's extra, 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 extra. Just to be sure it's not mine. She wants to be sure there's Just no sure. corona on it, okay? Just to be sure. No corona! And I'm going to go 
should. Give FaceTime. So we're having pizza and Bercy. And it's lightning a lot outside. So it's really good. Are you eating your food like a good bird? Mm -hmm. Hi, he's so cute. He's so hungry. He's hungry birds. I miss him. He's a bad bird earlier and dumped it all over the floor. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he, I forgot to tell you about that. Sorry, we forgot to add that part. Yeah, yeah he, does, he does. If there's like no pudding, he will not eat it. <laughs> he's picking it up again. He's like, <laughs> I'm going to throw this on the ground. In our little boy. No. <laughs> <laughs> you can see it. No. You're, not gonna, you're not gonna laugh. No, I'll laugh. No, you're not. It's fine. If I do, it's going all over you, so remember that. Fuck it, Ha! I didn't drink anything yet. Gosh darn it. I told you you right. wouldn't laugh. Boogie, <laughs> boogie, <laughs> I told her that we needed that Joker card from the movie. We just give the card to the people around us. I'm sorry. They uncontrollably laugh. No, just walk outside. Be outside free. Look at her magic band, you guys. Look how cute her magic band is, though, for reals. Uh -huh. On the real reels. Oh, wait. Hold on, wait. I was too zoomed in. Okay. Yeah, I got a snack one. So there's a churro and the stuff. Wanna shit? Now I wanna see it. Okay. Okay. No paparazzi. No paparazzi. Alright, well the whole internet is gonna miss out on your band. <coughs> right. Yeah, that's what I thought. Do anything for Cuddy? The club. The club. It's an egg. Go to the other side. The long no, you did it the wrong way. <coughs> Start from the middle and then go down the side. Mm -hmm. The club. We tried. There we go. Good enough. Good enough. Oh, you broke it. Why can't She broke That's broke. Hey, do not break. Do not. It, it broke. Let me do a little. I'm ready. I'm ready. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Sarah's channel. We're at the Caribbean Beach Resort. Ooh la la. <laughs> Ooh la la. And right over there is the Riviera Resort. The Riviera. Very Francais. Très français. S'il vous plaît, merci beaucoup. Okay, turn <laughs> wow. I took four years of French and that's all I could master. So. The lobby. The of lobby. The, the lobby. The lobby. This lobby is actually really pretty. Like, I should have brought my pins to see what new pins are on the And we are taking a shortcut back to our room. This is in Barbados. In Barbados. So, a shortcut from the lobby to your room in Barbados. Instead of taking the long route when it's storming around the pool, cut through the lobby, through the main entrance, turn right, <laughs> and you walk this way towards the main bus stop. But you cut through the road and you are at building 31 of Barbados. <laughs> I'm not even paying her for this, y'all. She just knows this info. If you want a tour guide? Hire me as well tour guide. Yeah, she got she got real good prices.
just taking a little dip in the pool before breakfast. It's really hot. What else can I say? I don't know. It's hot. It's a beautiful day though, and the sun is shining, the birds are chirping. Speaking of birds, I miss Archie. 